Hello everybody, welcome to Humanology and uh, we'll do tic tac for three minutes real quick, okay? Alright. Hello everybody, my name is Hong Kili, I'm running for United States Senate as an independent Alaskan and uh, we'll do some uh, upside down push up, okay? For shoulders. Okay. <sighs> okay. Ooh. <laughs> oh. We did like 30 reps, right? 30 reps. Oh, <sighs> That's good. Okay. I, I think that's enough exercise already. And because I went outside and ran. I, the Palmo Hay Flat uh, Wildlife Refuge is a state. I think it's a county level park, like borough level park in the Mats Valley, about 20 minutes from here. And yeah, I did running and temperature now is something like 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's springtime. So I, yeah, I ran just like this for 15 minutes, I guess. Maybe 10 minutes, I don't know. So yeah, took a lot of photos. Should we upload it to most likely Instagram and Facebook? Okay, yeah. Yeah. And went to grocery store and bought some food and drinks and then came back home. Today is like Sunday. So, yeah. And also I'm doing the, the human analysis right there. You see that uh, computer screen? Yeah, this, this human analogy recording going at the same time, so yeah. That's that. So yeah, happy Sunday. And uh, again, my name is Hong Kili. I'm running for United States Senate as an independent Alaskan. And this is 2022. And uh, yeah, nowadays I do a lot of TikTok. And thank you for being our friends here. And um, we really appreciate your time with us. And um, God bless you for generations to come. And uh, yeah, we pray that you survive and thrive and also uh, protect, preserve and uh, uh, prosper. Thank you. Okay, let me upload this real quick. Upside down push up. Okay, we'll take five minutes break, okay? Thank you. All
Ah, uh, sorry, I forgot to bring myself up. Uh.
Uh, okay, we'll do human allergy today, okay? Uh, because in social media content, the friends like you kind of uh, wondered what this equation means. So we'll do friendship equation, okay? All right. <laughs> because LGBT is such a controversial topic, uh, we'll make some different example. Okay, all right. We'll do step by step. We did this long time ago, but there's some. It's not a renewed interest per se. It, it's brand new interest because when we did this like a couple of years ago, uh, it was just on not, not, not many people. Uh, watched what I was doing in humanology. But now we have more friends in humanology. Thank you. So yeah, let's do it. And I also made a lot of friends uh, in social media, like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. So we'll do step by step. Okay. Look, everybody's welcome here. Okay. If you're subscribed to LGBT ideology, well, we pray that you become straight one day, okay? But uh, everyone's welcome here. But in social media, if you say, well, post some videos or pictures like LGBT activity, I have to block you. I, I don't make any exceptions. Okay, I, I don't. <laughs> you could be my best friends, it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, I, I will block you. Okay, so don't do it. Okay? Do not post any like LGBT activity like pictures, videos, or some vulgar jokes. I, I have to block you. I, I have blocked so many people. I don't make any exception when it comes to LGBT, okay? So, uh, but you're welcome here if you're LGBT community members. But you cannot say those things here. Because I will block you. I don't tolerate that stuff, okay? Now, let me grab some drinks. I'm gonna enjoy this. Let me blow my nose. Uh, let's grab some drinks, huh? Yeah? Okay, we're gonna have some fun with mathematics, alright? Mathematical humanology. I think this episode will be 1930, so let me double check. Sounds, start sounding like a year, 1930, but it's a sequential serial number, okay? So, if you're blocked in social media by me, yeah, tell me to unblock you. I will unblock you right, right away, okay? I mean, for example, if I blocked you in Instagram, you can find me in Facebook and private message me 
tell him what your account name is. You then I'll unblock you. Okay. So blocking in social media is it's like a grounding, a timeout. When people misbehave, yeah, I quarantine them, punish them. It's like a being in a jail or a dungeon. Mm -hmm. But that's the only way they can be corrected, disciplined, and punished. So they can behave better. I do that all the time. Uh, yeah, I block people all the time, okay. It's disciplinary measure, something very important. Corrective action, okay, yeah. Now, I have no problem doing it. Okay, yeah, I, I know how to discipline people. That's how I grew up. Okay. Welcome to humanology. Anything goes, anything good, okay. So, yeah, we discipline people, okay. When they do something wrong. Okay? Now, first, uh, a vector. What is a vector? It's ordered set of numbers. That's what vector is. Okay, so let's say opinion vector. Okay? Uh, because LGBT is a controversial topic, uh, we'll talk about, we we'll make some another example. Okay, how about like uh, Trump? Huh? What's your opinion about Trump? From minus 10 to plus 10, meaning you're anti-Trump or pro-Trump. Sliding scale from minus 10, you're totally anti-Trump. Zero, you're just neutral. You, you don't care about Trump. Plus 10, you're strongly pro-Trump. Okay? Your opinion. Now, uh, How about Russia? That's too controversial at this time. Some political issue. Have pebble, pebble. And all fossil fuel. Oil and gas. Those are the important topics in Alaska politics nowadays. Huh? So, are you pro pe pebble mine? Is uh, in Alaska there's five hundred billion dollar worth of copper, gold, molybdenum, and it's located in uh, Bristol Bay. So, Alaskans are concerned that if we build pebble mine, the salmon might die. So that's the concern. With Bristol Bay, there's huge salmon run in Bristol Bay, okay? Controversial topic. So you pro pebble, they mean you are like me, I'm pro pebble. I believe Alaska can develop pebble mine without killing any salmon. We have technologies for it. Okay? Oil and gas. Controversial topic, right? Yeah. Enwa, Northern Alaska, we have a lot of oil and gas. We have coal too. So there's fossil fuel. Okay, fossil fuel. If you're a Democrat, yeah, you may be worried about climate change, global warming. So you are anti-fossil fuel. Okay, I'm independent, but I agree with Republicans. I'm pro-fossil fuel. I'm okay with climate change, global warming. Okay, and I'm pro-pebble. When it comes to Trump, I'm neutral. I see good and bad in him. He's only human being. Okay. So, me, for example, Hunky Lee, okay, so, opinion vector of Hunky is zero, I'm strongly pro Pebble, plus 10, I'm strongly pro fossil fuel. That's my opinion vector. You can even plot this in three-dimensional Cartesian coordinate, 0, 10, 10, in three-dimensional space. Hmm? Yeah, X, Y, Z coordinate, yeah. 
because later on we'll conduct that, that product. Okay? And yeah, you can make geometric interpretation of that too. Dot product, like inner product and vector, linear algebra, right? Yeah. It's easy, it sounds fancy, but it's actually it's a very easy concept, okay? So do you have opinion vector, okay? Yeah. Actually, it's position vector, okay? What is my posi political position on those issues? Position vector. Okay? Let's take five minutes break. I need some vocal rest. Okay. Okay. But people who are blocked, I love them. They're not my enemies. They're my friends. But they need some correction. It's a tough love. They need to be corrected. It breaks my heart. I miss them. I miss friends that I blocked. Because I love them. I give them what they need. I want to unblock them. Because I miss them. But. They need to be uh, grounded for a while. And think about what they did. Okay, I miss them. I love them. People who are blocked. But on their behalf, they need to be kept out for a while. Hmm? Yeah. So. I miss them. I love them. Okay, but it's 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 like parental teachers' love of. Uh, punishing student, their child, it, that's not a fun experience to discipline people. We love them, we miss them, okay? But we have to ground them. Like time out stuff, yeah. It's part, part and parcel of education. Okay? Alright. We'll take five minutes and get back to this, okay? Thank you. Alright. Okay.
Okay, so we are back. So position vector, right? Yeah, it's uh, honky. What does think about Trump, Pebble, fossil fuel? Yeah, Trump. I'm neutral. I see good and bad in him. Okay. Yeah. What he did in January 6 was bad. All right, but I like his sense of humor. Okay. But I don't think he's a good politician at all. He's new in politics, okay? So, yeah, I, I, I don't fault him too, too much, but he's too far right. That's why he failed. And in, if you want to be a successful politician, you have to kind of be in the middle, okay? Uh, that's kind of a position that Lisa Mukorsky is taking. I think Lisa Mukorsky is better than Kelly Chibaka. Kelly Chibaka is far right. She's just like Trump. Again, she is political newbie. Lisa Mukowski, she is experienced politician. I respect that. Okay, but she follows majoritarian, major, like mainstream American opinions. She says she's Republican, but she's pro LGBT. She's Republican in name only. She does her own thing. Okay, I do my own thing, but at least I'm not Republican in name only. No, I'm independent. I'm being honest. She belongs to the Republican Party for political purposes. And I don't like it. And Alaskans don't like it either. Okay. For political convenience, uh, she pretends to be Republican when she's not. She's more independent. Okay. Uh, at least don't lie about it. That's that. Okay. So, post some back to, okay. How about position vector of Buffalo Bill? Okay, I mean, I was wearing this t-shirt back in the days, Buffalo Bill. Maybe some sports team, I guess. Let me look it up. What is Buffalo Bill? I think it's, is it like, I'm ignorant when it comes to uh, sports teams. Let me grab myself and look it up. My guess is that it's some kind of football game team in Buffalo, New York. That would be my guess. Yeah, it is football team. Yeah. Buffalo, New York. Yes, yes. That's, that's what I thought. How about Mr. Buffalo Bill of Upstate New York? Buffalo, New York, okay. Position of Mr. Buffalo Bill. Trump, yeah, my guess is pretty strongly Trump, pro-Trump. Maybe not so strongly. Let's give him like five. Pro-Trump, but not too, too much. Sliding skip between minus 10 to plus 10, okay? Uh, here you have issue, issue vector, okay? Issue vector. Okay. Now, Pebble Mine, I guess Mr. Buffalo Bill is anti Pebble somewhat. Maybe he's environmentalist. So maybe he love maybe he love eating fish, salmon. I love salmon, they're delicious. I love the texture. Typically I buy frozen salmon, okay? I like canned salmon too, but typically frozen salmon, okay? Yeah. Oh, the, that muscular texture of salmon is good. I boil them in water. With vegetables. Beans, corns, okra, string beans. Some of the beans I buy are frozen, some of them I can't in can. I love bean juice in the canned beans. Good stuff. 
can of beans in Walmart is like one dollar. Okay, so very healthy, very affordable. I love beans. Uh, some American doctors say, yeah, beans they are not good for hormones. I disagree. Asians they eat beans all the time. There is no issue. What people need to do is diet and exercise. Okay, yeah, beans are good. Tofu, very good. Okay. Take it from me. Don't listen to doctors. Well, doctors, they're only humans. Okay. Sometimes they're right. Sometimes they're wrong. Okay. So. Okay. Fast of fuel. Mr. Buffalo Bill. Yeah. He's a little bit worried about climate change and global warming. But he's practical. So, yeah, he drives regular car, not electric car. Uh, electric car, yeah, there's some good and bads in there, okay? It's not very efficient energy. The electric car does not have good energy efficiency, but yeah, zero emission, there's some value to it. I see some good and bads in electric cars, okay? Okay, so yeah, he's slightly pro fossil fuel, but he's still concerned about the global warming, climate change, okay? Now, Honky Lee and Buffalo Bill, can they, are they friends or enemies? So now, friendship equation is this, okay? Between Honky and Buffalo Bill is the product of Honky's position vector and Buffalo Bill's position vector. It's very easy, okay? You just multiply plus Multiply plus multiply. Oh, he's my enemy. Why? Because when we do that product, it turns minus, minus number negative 50. It means Buffalo Bill and Honky Lee, they disagree more than they agree on issues. Okay. So Mr. Buffalo Bill and I, we are enemies because we disagree more than we agree on issues. So that, that's what friendship equation is about. But uh, in humanology, we adopt this uh, Christianity concept, love your enemies. And in humanology, we even go beyond that. Don't even have any enemies. Love everybody, period. Yeah? Yeah. Everybody's different, okay? And But we can still be friends. That's the best part, right? Yeah. Typically, I, won't, I don't argue, I don't debate. Why? I, uh, when people have different opinion, opinions on things, I just listen. If they are being polite. If they are being rude in social media, I block them. I don't have time to deal with all those angers and I don't have time to deal with those angers, okay? Yes, and they need to be disciplined because they should learn to control their emotion. But if they have civil discussion, even about LGBT issue, I don't block them. Well, actually, sometimes I do. <laughs> I'm no saint. No, I'm not a holy prophet. If I'm a prophet, I'm an unholy prophet. Look at me, I drink alcohol, smoke cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, I watch adult entertainment films to let my libido out, sexual energy. Yeah, I do that on a regular basis, like three times a week. I am an unholy prophet, if I'm a prophet.
I'm sorry if I disappointed you. I just don't want to pretend to be somebody holy. I'm not. I'm dirty. I'm a lawyer. And I am a politician. And I'm not a clean politician. I'm, I'm, I'm a dirty politician. Okay, I am. Yeah. At least I'm being honest. My voice is shot. Let's take five minutes break, please. Okay, thank you. So that's basically it, okay? We'll make one more example to end in a positive note, okay? Yeah. Let's take a picture of this, okay? Okay. Uh, let's make one more example, okay? Uh, instead of Buffalo Bill, let's bring uh, Joanna. There's this song, American song, I think. Joanna, I love you. Okay. This Joanna is anti-Trump, okay? Pebble, eh? She's slightly against it. Okay? Fossil fuel? Maybe she works in the fossil fuel industry. Hmm? So, uh, but she's slightly concerned about environment. Okay, so. Joanna and Hong Kili, can they be friends or are they enemies?
Yeah, we are friends, okay? Because we agree more than we disagree. So, Hong Kili and Joanna, we are friends. Okay? But, she's married. <laughs> Look, in humanity, we do a lot of writing, acting. Improvised style, creative writing, creative acting. We do that all the time, okay? So, welcome to humanology, okay? Yeah. Maybe she just has, has a boyfriend. But still, we can be friends. Right? Many of my friends, female friends, are married or have boyfriend, okay? Yeah, no problem. But what if I find those non-single ladies attractive? No problem. No, I don't steal people's, my brother's girlfriends, their wives, I don't, I don't steal them. I have my morality, ethics. I'm a Christian. I do, no, no sir, no ma'am, I do not commit adultery. I don't. But, do I enjoy looking at them? My brother's girlfriends or my brother's wives, do I enjoy looking at them? Yeah. There's nothing wrong there. But, in Islamic world, Islam, yeah, they're kind of anal about it, so that's why they cover up women with burqas and hijabs. I'm against it. I think they're too strict. Look, if I have a girlfriend, let's say my girlfriend is wearing like mini skirt, high heel shoes, and how would I feel if some guys out there are looking at my girlfriend's legs? Am I okay with that? Yeah. Because I understand. I do the same thing. <laughs> but I try not to. Yeah, it's rude. Yeah, yeah. I, I try not to. But sometimes you just cannot help, okay? I'm sorry. Again, I'm not a holy prophet. I'm very unholy prophet, okay? I try not to, but sometimes I just cannot help, okay? So I, 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 try, I try, try not to, okay? Yeah, I mean, in Islam, Quran, yeah, there's very good teaching, yeah, do not look at women twice. That's good teaching, okay? I, I do my best, but sometimes, yeah, I, I sometimes I look at twice or three times. Because they are so beautiful. I love Islam, okay? Yeah. Yeah, there's a militantism element in Islam, violence. Uh, I reject that part. The same kind of violence, militantism, also is found in Bible, Christianity too. I reject that part as well. Okay? In humanology, we take the goods and reject the bads from all religions. We're cherry-pick. We're eclectic. Like buffet. Eh? Yeah. So take the goods, reject the bads. In humanology, we engage in metaphysical warfare with bad ideologies like LGBT, tattoos, piercings. Yeah, if you are tattooed and pierced, yeah, go to hospital, get rid of tattoos and piercings. Okay, that's our recommendation in humanology. Okay. <sighs> There goes my election. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about my election, okay? I, I, if I lose this time, yeah, I keep on running, okay? So, no problem. <sighs> we are done with this, okay? Yeah. It's simple, it's very easy. Yeah, uh, if you want to 
learn more about it in more formal mathematics, yeah, you can in Google Honky H H N K I space S S R N Social Science Research Network, okay? And you see the list of papers that I published there, online database. One of the papers called the uh, Voters Equation. It's there. Okay, yeah. You can download PDF for free. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was published like two years ago. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so if I lose the election again this year, yeah, I just hunker down and start writing all these papers. So I'm okay with losing an election. Yeah. I just write papers, academic papers after I lose the election, okay? No problem. I enjoy it because I enjoy that stuff. Yeah, I'm okay either way. Hmm. Let's take five minutes break, okay? Yeah. Just chilling. <sighs> All right.
<laughs> okay, we're done with French vacation, okay? So, yeah. Let's talk about something else. So, let's talk about TikTok, huh? Yeah, I mean, my kind of generous friends like you suggested to me, recommended to me that I should do TikTok. And I was 
kind of resisting. Let me turn off the heater. I mean, the, the, the tumble dryer it makes too much noise. Yeah, kind of generous friends like you in social media suggested to me that I should do TikTok. I resisted first, okay, because uh, I mean, I mean, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, that's enough social media interaction, but they said I, sh I should do TikTok, okay? And LinkedIn, I used to be in LinkedIn, uh, but they kicked me out. They got rid of my account. Because, yeah, I say things that's very naughty sometimes. LinkedIn, that's more like a resume, like getting a new job, more like professional setting. It's not exactly social media, so uh, they uh, eliminated my account. That's fine. Okay, so one account is eliminated, so maybe I can bring in another social media to replace it. Yeah, so there comes TikTok, right? Yeah. So I followed my friend's suggestion and I did TikTok. And it took me one month to make, make it work because my old, my cell phone is very old. Moto Rolla, Moto E6. It's an old cell phone, okay? So limited storage, so I bought this SD card, installed it, formatted it as an internal storage, moved over a TikTok app, into that SD card. Now it finally works, okay? It took me one month to make TikTok work. And my friends like you are were right because TikTok uh, is somewhat different. Dif very different from other social media. Instagram is based on photography, right? Twitter, uh, mostly based on words. Facebook, it's more like family or setting, okay, it's, uh, uh, which is great, and, uh, more like formalistic setting, uh, Facebook, typically, uh, more family oriented, right, but TikTok is more about the three minute video clips. Right? Okay. So, yeah, I started doing TikTok about a month ago, and then uh, I was pleasantly surprised how many views I get. I got like 30,000 views in some of my TikTok postings. 30,000. To me, that's like brand new. I mean, other people get million views, 100,000 views, okay? Uh, but me getting 30,000 views, that's like, I never had that kind of big audience before ever in my life, for 43 years. Yeah, so it's kind of brand new experience. Okay. So yeah, thank you, my friends. For giving me advices. Yeah. So that was cool. Of course, 30,000 views, they're international, okay? Uh, maybe, I don't know how many of them are Alaskans. <laughs> if they are Alaskans, I don't know how many of them are over 18 years old, Alaskan voters. Even if some Alaskans in TikTok, they, are, they may be 18, over 18 years old, but Alaskans over 18 years old, they're eligible for vote, but some of them do not vote. 
Okay? So, out of 30,000 viewers in TikTok, I don't know how many of them are Alaskan voters. Registered Alaskan voters, I don't know. But, it's fine. Some of them kindly of generously say they will vote for me. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. so this year, 2022, U.S. Senate election in Alaska, August primary, is open primary, which is, I think it's a great idea. This is fun. Top four. By now, out of like 15 people, out of 15 candidates, Top four will go to general election in November 2022. Will I make top four? I don't know. I think I might. We'll see. Five months. Yeah. I do what I can. I go to karaoke bar, dance club, trade shows. Wear my campaign t-shirt. And go to places where there are a lot of people, okay? Yeah. Social media. Yeah. I do what I can. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Yeah, but I'm laid back candidate, laid back ca politician. So I'm like, yeah. I mean, I'm okay either way. Hmm? I'm done like other politicians. Okay. If I get elected, great. If not, that's great too. Hmm? I just want to enjoy life, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. As long as I have my job, all right, my house, my car, my vodka, my whiskey, my cigarettes, my beer, then I'm happy camper, okay? I'm very easy to please. It does not take too much to make me happy. I also need myself for my internet. Friends like you and but back in the days I did not have that many friends. I had a handful of good friends, a few good friends. Now I have more friends in social media. Okay, thank you, thank you. You're all good friends of mine. Okay, and uh, yeah, uh, as long as I have friends, vodka, whiskey, cigarettes, my job, car, house. Internet, cell phone, they're a happy camper. Am I asking too much? <sighs> but this is like standard nowadays. As an average American, okay. Yeah, I'm very much average American. It's not necessary that I become U.S. Senator or U.S. President to be happy. That's what I'm trying to tell you, okay? So, But other candidates like Lisa Mukowski, Kelly Chibaka, Elvi Gray Jackson, I'm like, why they why do they try so hard to win an election? I guess they, they're just not happy, very happy people. Maybe uh, they're not diversifying their interests. Unlike me, look, I do diet, exercise. Martial arts, dancing, singing, acting, writing, science.
study history, literature, foreign languages. I have very diversified interest. But I guess some other political candidates like Lisa Mukowski, Avi Grajeks, and Kelly Chibaka, maybe uh, they are, they don't have they are, don't have very good education like I did. Maybe that's why so tunnel vision, narrow focus to get elected. Because yeah, my advice to them yeah, they are putting all the eggs in one basket. It's not a diversified investment of their time. Right? That's not desirable at all. Okay? If I lose the election this year, five months from now, August 2022, I'm, I'm okay with that. Because I have many hobbies. I play with nunchucks, rods, Staff. I, I do martial art. I do dancing, singing. I will still be happy after I lose the reaction because I I'll be doing the same thing. Yeah, I write about science, history, humanology. Yeah, so I still be happy doing diet exercise. Huh? Yeah, interact with kind of just people like you in social media after I lose the election. No problem. I run again, 2024, for United States President, whether I get elected or not as U.S. Senator this year. Okay. Yeah. Campaign will still go on. Right? Yeah, I'm still be drinking alcohol. I'm still be smoking cigarette, diet, exercise. Yeah, I do all that stuff. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Because we are trying something brand new, idea campaign. I don't take any do donation money, but I don't even ask people to donate their time. No. I want people to focus on their education and their career. Okay. Maybe their their family, their friendship, okay, yeah. But idea campaign because I will I will not settle with anything less than a pure miracle. Yeah, zero penny campaign, one man campaign. Okay. And kind of generous friends like you are helping me out with your time. I'm very grateful. Thank you. It's idea campaign, okay? Can a political candidate in America in 2022 win an, ele win an election based on the quality of ideas only? It's a gamble. It's an experiment. That's what this campaign is about. Just trying something brand new. Okay? Yeah. Welcome to Humanology. Anything goes. Okay? Alright, five minutes break, please. Thank you. I need some vocal rest. It is magical here, yeah. Good stuff, okay? Yeah. Alright.
Okay, we're back. So, it's Sunday night. Right now it's like 11 o'clock. Yeah, but I took a long nap. Yeah, I gotta get back to work tomorrow, Monday. No problem. I took a long nap, so. So, let's talk about other candidates, like Kelly Tsibaka, Elvi Gray Jackson, Lisa Mukowski. Uh, they're just ordinary politicians, okay? There's nothing special about them, like, the Democrats, Republicans, whatever, right? <laughs> so I wrote an essay piece, okay? I said uh, a couple, maybe a month ago, right? I said something like, you Alaskans, okay? If you're gonna vote for those Kelly Chibaka, Lisa Mokosi, Avi Gradison, you should get out of Alaska because you don't belong here, okay? Because Alaska, to me, it re Alaska represents independence, the fierce spirit of independence. And if they vote for Kelly Tsipaka, Lisa Mokoski, Evie Gray Jackson, when I am running, that's just going on the mainstream majoritarian views. That's not independence. That's very much dependence on political parties like the Republican Party, the Democratic Party, whatever. They're going to vote for them just because they saw them on TV, television. That's not Alaska, okay? So people who vote for Ala Lisa Mikoski, Kelly Chibaka, Avi Gray Jackson, they should get out of Alaska. They don't belong here. They're not Alaskan enough. I don't care if they they were born and raised in Alaska. They, so what? That does not make them Alaskans? No. They are Alaskan in name only. <laughs> Alaskan in name only. I know, okay, so they are I knows if they vote for Kelly Tibaka, Lisa Mokoski, Evie Gray Jackson this year, 2020 to August, okay. I know, Alaskan in name only, okay. I don't care if they are born and raised in Alaska, okay, but if they vote for those people, when I am running, they are not Alaskan enough. Yeah, I've been living in Alaska only for seven years. I came to Alaska to be part of this independence. Freedom. As an ideological refugee. Back in 2015, okay. So I am very Alaskan. Although I lived here only for seven years. Because people come to Alaska to be free. To get away from it all. I'm one of them who came to Alaska for freedom. Two years ago, when I was running for Alaska State Senate in Matu Valley, Greater Wasla area, yeah, I said the same thing. But 98% of them did not vote for me. They voted for somebody else. More mainstream candidates. I'm like... Disappointed. At Alaskans, okay. Because I thought Alaskans are special people and Alaska is a very special place. But 98% of them did not vote for me. They voted for somebody else when I was running. It broke my heart and two pieces 
I suffer for two weeks from the election laws, August 2020. <sighs> Maybe they didn't know me. Maybe, perhaps they knew me, but they didn't like my ideas. I, mean, I was like, how dare you not vote for me? When I'm running, Alaskans, you should vote for me and nobody else. Honky, grow up! You're talking like a baby. I am, yeah. Maybe I need to grow up. And I did grow up after the election loss. I became a more humble person. <laughs> Maybe I should lose again this year. So that I, would, I, can, I can grow up some more. Maybe. Maybe I'm not ready yet. Who knows? I don't know. I'm like, whatever, okay. So my attitude, I'm a politician with an attitude, okay? So yeah, Alaska, you vote for whoever you want, okay? So whatever. <laughs> Election anxiety. <laughs> I Maybe Alaskans did not vote for me two years ago because they just have no idea who I, who I am. Or maybe they did not vote for me because they knew me, but they disagree with me on issues. Okay. So the paper voters equation in SSR and that's what that was about. I wrote that paper after I lost the election two years ago, 2020. But I tried to understand why I lost. Yeah, we talk about inertia of time spent. Maybe they voted for other candidates because they are their friends, family members. It's like, let's say, you're married, let's say you're a man, and you're married to your wife for decades. And you and your wife, maybe you're in your 70s, or well, yes, 60s, 60s, okay? You're a male, you're married to your wife for 40 years, your high school sweetheart. So now you're in your 60s. And you and your wife go to a shopping mall and you as a male, married man, you see a very beautiful lady in her 20s. But would you divorce your wife and marry that 20-year-old, a 21-year-old lady? Some people do that, like Donald J. Trump. He divorced many times and he married younger girls. Some people do that stuff. But maybe you have some ethics, morality, unlike Donald J. Trump. He can know. Hey, I don't think he is very morally ethical person, okay? He's a selfish individual, okay? Maybe you're not like Donald J. Trump. Maybe you care about your wife, your commitment, marriage, vow. So although maybe you're rich, you're a millionaire, Maybe you don't want to divorce your wife. Although you're in your 60s, your wife is in your 60s, you're a millionaire, you can divorce your wife and you can marry a lady who's like 25 years old. But perhaps you choose not to out of loyalty of your wife that you have been married to for 40 years. Okay. Yeah, voters' equation is about that, okay? Maybe Alaskan voters, they have known these candidates for decades as friends, as family members. And there comes Honky Lee, who's more, way more attractive and way more smarter, more entertaining than their friend, their family member candidates. But they want to be loyal to their friend, their family member candidates. 
So although I'm more attractive, smarter than all. But they could not vote for me because family ties, friendship, okay? So they voted for their friends and family members. Yeah, we talk about the voters' education. It's in SSRN, Social Science Research Network. It's published after, like two years ago, okay? After I lost the election, okay? Because I try to understand why they voted for somebody else and not me. We understand that. Okay? Yeah. We are humanologists here, okay? We do not judge people. We merely understand them. Humanology. Science about humans. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a scientist first, politician second, okay? So. Yeah. So something good came out of that loss of election two years ago. Because after I lost the election, yeah, my campaign is over. I started to write academic articles. Including this proof of Mr. Albert Einstein's special and general relativity theories. That's it, published in Vixrada, V I X R A. It's archived backwards, okay? Vixrada.org. Yeah, you just type honky space Vixra, V I X R A. Then you'll find those academic papers where I disproved, I think. Dr. Albert Einstein's special and general relative theories, okay? It's all there, it's all published, okay? So, yeah. so if I lose election again this year, no problem. I hunker down back again, start writing academic articles, and publishing online databases. So I don't care either way, right? You just go with the flow, right? Yeah, yeah. Just go with the flow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In Korea, they have the same maxim, go with the flow. Yeah, my partner grandmother told me, yeah. Uh, how do you say it in Korean language? Like, uh, Sunni, Sunni, okay? Yeah. Yeah, be meek. Obedient with the Sun Ri. Sun means like meek, obedient, okay? Ri means the principle, like. Yeah, Sun Ri, yeah, just go with the flow. That's a uh, Korean word for it, okay? So. so survive and thrive, protect, preserve, and prosper, okay? Yeah. No, in humanology, this brand of humanology, okay, because there are other brands of humanology. If you type humanology in Google, YouTube, you're not going to find this, okay? You have to type honky, H-U-H-N-K-I, -E, okay? Honky space humanology, then, or oh, humanology space honky, yeah, then you'll find this humanology in YouTube, okay? Otherwise, if you just type humanology, yeah, there are more prominent, more famous people out there who published books, who got a lot of, like, viewers, okay? But, yeah, this brand of humor is very obscure. Okay, I'm not famous. I'm not celebrity, okay? At least not yet, okay? So, this brand of humanology, okay? Humanological maxim, okay? No ideology deserves human sacrifice. Not even freedom, independence, like in Russia, Ukraine situation, okay? President Jel Volodymyr Zelensky, he should have surrendered to Russia. Why? 
because if he surrendered, President of Ukraine, Zelensky, if he surrendered to Russia, nobody would have died. But he didn't. He's one of those dumb politicians. Vain glory. He wants to be famous. He wants to be touted, praised as a war hero, right? President Zelensky. Vain glory. He was a dancing with a star. Former comedian, whatever, okay? I'm a dancer, comedian myself, actor. But President of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, dumb politician like Chibaka, Lisa Mikowski, Elvi Grezakson, Trump, Biden, Obama, extremely dumb politician, okay? He should have surrendered so that nobody dies in Ukraine. They can get their freedom and independence back later. Let's just prevent death. Freedom is not freedom, independence, identity is not a worthwhile cause to die for. No ideology deserves human sacrifice. Why? In this brand of humanology, human life is more than ideologies like freedom, independence. Democracy. Human life is more important than those ideologies, okay? Any ideologies, including human ideology. Okay? Or Christianity, or Islam, Buddhism, Confucianism, whatever. Confucianism, Taoism. No ideology is worthwhile human sacrifice, okay? Because Let's say they fight for freedom, independence, and they die. Okay? Then are you going to get freedom and independence in your tomb, in your coffin, after you fight for freedom and independence, after you are dead? That's absurd. Are you going to have freedom and independence when you're in your tomb, in your grave, six feet under the ground, in your cemetery? That's absurd. Are you going to have your freedom after you're dead? In your tomb, six feet under the ground, in your coffin, are you going to have freedom that you fall for? That's absurd, okay? Yes, yeah, so don't fight for freedom. No. Do not sacrifice your life over freedom, independence, democracy. No, don't do it. We can say this because we are humanologists. It's a brand new science, philosophy, religion even, okay? Uh, just save your life, practice exercise and diet, and Ukraine, if you're in Ukraine, yeah, get out of there. Save your lives. Don't fight Russians, okay? If you're in Ukraine right now, yeah, get out of there. Save your lives. Okay? Yeah, dumb politicians like Vladimir Putin or Volod. Demir Zelensky, okay, they're doing political battle, arm wrestling, playing chess game, okay. Dumb politician, both of them, Russia, Ukraine politician, dumb people, just like in America, America, United States, okay. Dumb politician, like Biden, Trump, Obama, Kelly Chibaka, Lisa Murkowski, every great accent. Dumb politicians, okay. Yeah, just save your life. Ukra Ukrainians, yeah, get out of there, save your life. Okay, because dumb politicians, they play chess games with human lives. Yeah, Donald J. Trump, Barack Obama, Joseph Biden, Kelly Chibaka, Lisa Murkowski, Abyss, Gray Jackson, Vladimir Putin, Volodymyr Zelensky, they're the same kind of bad politicians. They play chess games with human lives. They don't care about people. They only care about their political ambition. They want to be war heroes. 
They want to be famous. They don't care about people's lives. Okay. You see how horrible politics is in America, Russia, Ukraine, okay? They don't care about human lives. They only care about their ego. They want to be remain in power. They need to grow up, right? They play games with people's lives. Those are the mainstream politicians, including Lisa Mikorski, Kelly Chibaka, Elvi Gray Jackson, Trump, Obama, Biden, Putin, Zelensky, those international celebrities, politicians, they are really bad. They are horrible, they are selfish. Ay. I'm, no, so no, ma'am. I'm not one of those people. Okay. No. I'm against LGBT ideology because LGBT ideology is a very bad ideology. Okay. So if you are in it, I recommend you to get out of LGBT ideology. Stop doing LGBT ideology. Okay. Because they are bad. Just stop thinking about it, talking about LGBT ideology, okay? Otherwise, I will block you. Because I don't want to see it. Okay? If you are tattooed and pierced, save some money, go to hospital and get rid of tattoos and piercings. Or else, I will block you. If you are female, if you have short hair, yeah, grow your long hair, okay? Otherwise, I will block you. Okay. If you are into L marijuana, yeah, get, stop marijuana, okay? Or else, I will block you. Because I have. Okay. And what else? If you are violent, okay, I will block you too. Some verbal abuse, you use bad words, I'll block you too, okay. Okay? We are exorcists, ghostbusters, we fight bad ideologies. It's a metaphysical warfare. In Christian words, Christian language, yeah, spiritual warfare, okay? Yeah. Same Paul in New Testament, okay? It's spiritual warfare, okay? We fight bad ideologies, okay? So, when you're infected with bad ideologies, you have to quarantine you ground you, time out stuff, okay, so, yeah, okay, welcome to humanology, anything goes, okay, we take five minutes break, okay, yeah. Okay, we are metaphysical warriors, okay, so, yeah. We fight bad ideology. We want to save people's lives, people's souls, spirits. Right? Yeah, it, it is bloodless revolution. It's all metaphysical dimension, higher dimension, okay? Yeah, we practice martial art, but just punching and kicking in the air. We don't even make a sound, make any noise when we practice martial arts. Okay? All right. All right, five minutes, please. Thank you. Okay, let me start cooking my dinner. We'll wrap it up real soon, okay? Alright.
Yeah, the night is getting old this Sunday, okay, so...
Yeah, I'm cooking my dinner. It's a Chinese food in the cars. Yeah, I did some TikTok merchandise when I was shopping at cars earlier this evening. Yeah, what I, what kind of things I buy in cars? That's like a C A R R apostrophe S. Wasila downtown. Great. My favorite supermarket actually. Okay, because they have everything I need. Okay, fantastic culinary arts. They like have Chinese food and they have this fried chickens. Yeah, buffalo chicken wings and sushi. They have all that stuff. All, they're quite well known for great culinary arts. Downtown Washington cars, okay. Yeah, we have Fred Myers, Three Bears, Walmart. They're great culinary artists too, but cars, uh, they have like this, sometimes this uh, fried chicken gizzards, fried chicken liver. They are very well known for great culinary arts in Wasilla, okay, yeah. So I shopped at cars, I made some TikTok video, what kind of things I buy there. Fruits, vegetables, juice, apple juice, cranberry juice, okay, good stuff, okay, yeah. Toilet paper, beer, of course, yeah. Yeah, I did some two minute TikTok about that, okay, so. Before I check out, check out in the counter, okay? Yeah. So, let's talk about, uh, social media, okay? Instagram, yeah, I made friends like you in Instagram. Uh, upload my selfies. Beautiful Alaskan sceneries, landscape pictures, okay? Sometimes humanology, the whiteboard over there, okay? Yeah. So, but earlier today, yesterday, I guess, whatever. Yeah, I uploaded this picture of my driver's license because I wanted to show Alaskan voters I'm legitimate Alaskan resident. We have Alaskan driver's li license. My birthday is in there, my home address. Yeah, right here. Clean Fairview. Southwest of Wasilla, Alaska, in Machu Valley. Okay. Yeah, I'm legit, legitimate candidate. I live in Alaska. Here's my home address. And my kind and generous friends like you in Instagram, they said, yeah, you have to get rid of that picture because you have many political enemies. They may come to your door, invade you. But the thing is this, I'm US. Senate candidate. I don't have any PO box, post office box, okay, because they cost money. I got no money to rent this PO box. So yeah, mail come to my home address, okay? Yeah. So some other candidates, they when they register with Alaska uh, Division of Election, okay. Uh, they have P.O. box. I don't. I got no money to rent out post office box, P.O. box. So it comes to my home address when it comes to mailing. Okay. So my home address is already published. It's already a matter of public records. Not just my home address, my email, my cell phone. It's all out there as a public record because I'm running for U.S. Senate public office. I believe in transparency, open information. I don't believe in secrecy. Okay? Yeah. My home address is already out there. Okay? That's why some pranksters would order this pizza on my home address several months ago. Okay? They stopped doing it, okay? Because I told them not to. They stopped it, okay? Good. Yeah, so there's nothing new there, okay? My birth date, home address, is already out there already, okay? So, okay. but thank you for your concern, but there's nothing new about it. My driver's license picture, they are uploaded to Instagram. Because my name, my signature, my uh, home address, 
my boss said, it's already out there. Because I'm running for U.S. Senate. It's a, as a matter of public records already. Way back, like several years ago, okay. It's already out there, okay, so. But thank you for your, for your concern. But, yeah, they're concerned about me, yeah. People who do not like your politics, maybe they'll invade your house. I understand the concern, thank you. But the thing is, Alaskans are nice. But what if people from out of Alaska, they come to Alaska to voice their objections to my politics? Well, I don't recommend them to that, okay? Because I'm not worthwhile to invest that kind of money. Traveling to Alaska, that's expensive. <laughs> Some friends of mine say uh, they want to come to Alaska just to see me. Thank you, but I don't recommend that because I'm not worthwhile people's money. Just have a Zoom meeting, okay? Yeah. Come to Friday night out with Honky Lee, okay? Zoom meeting. That's cheaper. It does not cost anybody any money. I, I pay monthly, like $20, because I'm a Zoom host, okay? No problem, I can afford that. But physical, in-person interaction, that's too expensive. I mean, I don't like traveling very much, okay, it's too expensive, okay, so I just drive around. I rarely fly, okay. That's just too expensive, okay. I just drive around. Machu Valley, Wasilla, Palmo, Houston, Big Lake, Takitna, yeah, just drive around Machu Valley. I even rarely go to Anchorage, okay, because that's like two hours away from here, okay, so. Yeah, just online meeting, like social media, internet, Zoom, that's good enough. Huh? Yeah. So you, if you want to express your opinions to me, yeah, join Friday and have a funky lead. Sometimes we have one guest, two guests, three, five. Sometimes we have three dozen guests. Friday and I'm hungry, okay? We do it Friday, 6 p.m. Alaska time. Two times on Saturday, one time on Sunday, okay? So like four times every weekend, okay? Yeah. If you wanna talk to me about anything, yeah, during Friday and I'm hungry, okay? Zoom link, post in Facebook, Instagram. Twitter, Blogger, okay. Yeah. Blogger, yeah, just type Google, Yahoo, Bing, whatever, your favorite web search engine, okay. Honky Space Blog, it will get you there, okay. So, yeah. We want to be economically efficient. We want to save time and money. Okay, so you don't have to fly all the way to Alaska to talk to me. No, it's not necessary. We have Zoom meeting, okay? Every Friday, twice Saturday, one Sunday, okay? No problem. Okay? Yeah. That's what internet is for. It saves money and time and energy, okay? Uh, I recommend you to focus on your career, your education. Okay? Uh, yeah, in YouTube, we do this humanology Monday through Friday. I mean, Saturday, Sunday through Thursday. Five days a week. Right? Yeah. Just me talking, right? But that's like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Five days a week, okay? And Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, okay, we do this Zoom meeting. Friday and I was hungry, okay. You can actually participate and voice your opinions 
on about anything. Okay? But if you talk about LGBT, I may have to stop you. Okay? Why? I mean, you can make some logical arguments. Then, I will let you. But if you are being so emotional, oh, I'm LGBT, blah, 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 but then I, I have to let you out, get you out, because LGBT ideology is my good old nemesis. I wrote 171 page, that's like a length of a book, dissertation paper, okay? I wrote it when I was in law school, okay? Uh, it's in Social Science Research Network, okay? SSRN space honky, you find it, the law of anti-LGBTism, okay? I spent a lot of time fighting this LGBT ideology. My good old nemesis, okay? So you can read about it, fully download it, if you want to, okay, so I just don't want to spend any more time on it because I already have spent too much time on it, okay, so but you can talk about something else for the of the okay, yeah. So when it comes to LGBT, just don't do it, okay? Don't even think about it, don't even talk about it. Are you honky, but you are thinking about it all the time. You're talking about it all the time. Well, I'm talking about it against LGBT, not pro-LGBT. I'm anti-LGBT. East. Okay? It's like 100% difference. Alright? But if you are pro-LGBT, if you are for it, then I will block you like there is no tomorrow. Because I don't have time for it, okay? Because I spent too much time already talking against it, okay? So, so if you're gonna join Fred and Hunky, yeah, talk about something else, okay? Otherwise, I have to let you go. I've done that many times before, okay? So. Just don't do it, don't think about it, don't talk about it, okay? Uh, because I, I, I I just don't have time for it, okay? I'm running for U.S. Senate. I have a lawyer job. I'm busy. Okay? Yeah. Alright. So, my dinner is getting ready. It's like, uh, Chinese food. I love China. I love, I love Russia. I love Ukraine. I love all countries. I love India. North Korea, South Korea, Cuba, Japan, South America, Europe, Africa. I love all countries, okay? So, but tonight it happens with Chinese food in cars, okay? Teriyaki chicken. It's kind of like Japanese food, but they sell it in Chinese restaurant in America, okay? So, come on. Amalgamation merging of this Asian food, like Chinese food, Japanese food, okay. Teriyaki chicken, Japanese cuisine, sold in Chinese restaurant, kind of. <laughs> okay, so, love that. So, after all, it's said and done, I'm Christian, I'm Asian, I'm American. Okay, so, yeah. Okay? Okay. God bless you. Okay? I love you. Thank you for loving me. See you later, okay? Bye. Thank you. I love you. Thank you for loving me. Bye. Mm.